and his family. Many families are struggling under the strain of financial problems these days, but there is help out there for people who need it and are willing to ask. KTLA's Eric Spillman is in Norwalk with more, and Eric, that's one of the things. It's really hard for some people to ask for help. It really is, but they need to understand that they should ask for it if they need it. And Los Angeles County has a team of mental health professionals who are working 24 hours a day. They're answering phone calls from people in crisis, people who may have lost their homes or about to lose their homes, or they may have lost their jobs. They're feeling hopeless. They're feeling depressed. They may be feeling suicidal. But this service is out there, and it is available to people who need it. If there's one message that authorities want to get out there after the tragedy in Wilmington, it's this. No matter how serious you think your problem is, there is help out there, and it's not hard to find. No matter how desperate you are, no matter how frustrated you are, uh, to think that this was the only answer uh, to take uh, your whole family with you in death uh, is just too much to understand. If you need assistance... Uh, if you're looking for a helping hand, know that we're ready uh, with open arms and open hearts to guide you through this tough stretch. For people who've lost their jobs, the state's Employment Development Department has resources, job boards, counseling, retraining programs. People get emotional when they're out of work or they're facing foreclosure, but they need to be persuaded that these are just temporary problems. We see people uh, that have, let's say, been on a job for 20 years and all of a sudden they're out of work. They're very emotional, but uh, we try to let them know there is a hope. We all think money is everything. When we're trying to pay our bills and we're trying to take care of our family, we all think about that. We don't think about how many people it impacts, how many lives we touch every day, and what it would mean for those people we touch if we're not there anymore. All right, we want to run down some hotline numbers for you. First of all, this is, a, this is an important number. The Department of Mental Health runs a, an access number, and again, it's staffed 24 hours a day. The number 800-854-7771. There's a Suicide Prevention Center, 877-727-4747. And if you live in the city of Los Angeles, you can call 311, again, 24 hours a day, and they have a list of counseling resources, job placement, financial assistance, all kinds of things uh, that could be helpful. More things that we can list here. So again, these are all things that we pay for as taxpayers. They may be underutilized, but they're out there, and uh, especially now, uh, people need to uh, avail themselves of these things. Michaela, Frank? And Eric, all of this information is kept private. You don't have to worry that suddenly your woes and problems are going to be blasted around your, your, your inner circle. They, they're very discreet. They've got some great tools. They, they can really help you. They're so discreet, they won't even let us show you the outside of the building where they operate. So <laughs> well, that's a good that sign. That gives you an idea. That's a good sign. Eric, we appreciate that, and we want to remind viewers that we are going to make sure to put this information on the website. Maybe you have a neighbor or a friend that might need that information. We'll make sure it's available to you.